Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 202 of the 365 day trivia road trip. We have a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz today. There's going to be 20 questions up front. And then at the very end of this episode, there's a question 21 tiebreaker if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Preserving it for all generations to come. What was the name of the U.S. President who used the Antiquities Act of 1906 to declare the Grand Canyon a national monument to shield and protect it from commercial or residential development? He did a lot of work with the national parks. The answer is Theodore Roosevelt. Question number two, he was beaten out for a promotion by Michael Cassio and decided to seek his revenge upon his employer by clouding his mind. Who is this Venetian who convinces Othello to murder Desdemona? The answer we're looking for is Iago. Question number three. It doesn't make any sense that a mouse would have a pet dog, but that is the case in the wonderful world of Disney. What is the name of Mickey Mouse's yellow-orange colored, medium-sized, short-haired dog with black ears? My mind always jumps to Goofy, but the answer is Pluto. Pluto. Question number four. He served as the main subject of some of A.A. A. Milne's poems from When We Were Very Young. What is the name of this boy, Winnie the Pooh's closest human friend? The answer is Christopher Robin. Question number five. When something is designated at GMT, it indicates that time is measured by the standard developed by an observatory in what English location through which the prime meridian passes. The answer is Greenwich. Greenwich Mean Time. Question number six. Ella Maria Lanny Yellick O'Connor, the New Zealand-born singer-songwriter, known for her mega-hit songs like Royal and Green Light, goes by what one-word professional stage name? Ella Maria Lanny Yellick O'Connor. You probably know her as Lord. Question number seven. The name of a 1971 song and album by Jethro Tull, it was developed in the early 1940s by Jacques Cousteau. What is this device that allows people to breathe underwater, also known as scuba? What is this invention that shares a name with a 1971 song and album by Jethro Tull? The answer is Aqualung. Question number eight. The main division of Canada is, of course, provinces, while the former USSR was divided into republics. What are the names for the primary divisions of the country of Germany?
The answer is states. Germany is divided into states. Question number nine. This canine couple made a feature film in 1955 from Disney. She had a lovely home, but he lived on the streets. They enjoyed a meal at an Italian restaurant before he saved her owner's child from rats. Who are they? This canine couple is Lady and the Tramp. Question number 10. This device was suggested by Evangelista Torricelli through experiments involving a fluid in a tube inverted over a saucer. What is this weather instrument that reads atmospheric pressure? The answer is a barometer. Question 11. Wells can be drilled into these layers so water can be pumped out. Precipitation eventually adds water into these porous rock layers and replenishes its supply. What name is given to this layer of porous rock that can be tapped to produce artesian wells for supplying water? This layer is known as an aquifer. Question number 12. What is this process that reduces the size of fat globules by forcing pressurized hot milk through a strainer with small holes, causing turbulence that breaks up the larger fat globules? The answer is homogenization. Question number 13. The powerful leader of a criminal organization, especially in movies and television, is often referred to by what respectful term that originally indicated a man who sponsors a person at a baptism? This term is the Godfather. Question number 14. A cloud of ash circled the earth when one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in recorded history occurred on what small uninhabited volcanic island east of Sumatra and west of Java on August 27, 1883? The answer is Krakatoa. Question 15. An iconic folk hero in American, indigenous, and Canadian popular history, Shawnee Chief Tecumseh, died during fighting on the side of the British during which 19th century war? The answer is the War of 1812. Question number 16. It is the condition of visual impairment in which light rays from distant objects are focused in front of the retina instead of on it. What is the scientific name for this impairment that causes blurred distance vision? The answer is myopia. Question number 17. Although the flag wasn't officially adopted until 1968, 
What are the two types of animals that are featured on the national flag of Mexico that represent the legendary origins of the country's Aztec heritage? These questions are all starting to blur together. I swear we just had this one. The answer is the eagle and the snake. That sounds super familiar. Question number 18. At almost 440 feet above the water, it is the world's tallest steel arch bridge. Nicknamed the coat hanger because of its arch design, which steel arch bridge in Australia took 1,400 men eight years to build? The answer is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Question number 19. In 1814, after the British burned America's capital and the Library of Congress, what was the name of the man whose collection of books became the foundation of the present Library of Congress? The answer is Thomas Jefferson. And question 20, I know we've had this one before because I love it. What is the more common way to say the phrase, it is within the realm of possibility to escort Equus Catalyst to a site supplying a potable quantity of dihydrogen oxide, however, one cannot coerce said quadruped to imbibe. What's the more common quote? Another way to say that is, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. I feel like I'm running in circles here. I know a lot of these questions have been used, at least in some variety, uh, before, maybe even this year, and some of them feel recent. I write them, you know, weeks and months ahead of time, and so I don't know if I'm remembering writing or remembering recording them. I don't know. It feels like some of them have been used fairly recently, or at least similar questions. So if that's the case, I apologize. I'm trying to do new, fresh ones, but when I'm not doing specific category trivia, it's much harder to remember what you know what the questions are. Like if I do a Disney movie trivia quiz, and then the next day I do South American geography, then it's very easy to know that those have not overlapped at all but with random trivia quizzes 20 questions a day you know 30 quizzes a month that's that's a lot of questions every month and uh, I apologize if they repeat this one is not a repeat I know for a fact question 21 the tiebreaker released by the Italian music group Eiffel 65 in 1998 the song Blue Daba D is about a little guy who lives in a monochromatic world with his house, window, and Corvette all being the same color. How many times is the word blue used in the original version of this song? You're just going to have to take a guess because you don't have time to sing the whole song. In Blue by Eiffel 65, the word blue is used 30 times. And bear with me if we have some repeated questions over the last couple weeks and maybe the next couple weeks. I know we have some viewer submitted quizzes coming in the 1st of August. I'm going on a camping trip and uh, so I'm going to use some viewer submitted quizzes then. Hopefully those are different questions. They'll at least be asked differently than the way that I normally write them. So we got that going. If you want to shoot in uh, a quiz for the first week of August, I will not only allow it, I would appreciate it. I think that's all I have to report. See you tomorrow for Pit Stop Trivia.